Unsere nächste Petscher Kutscherianerin ist Barbara Gerzimmer Rodenburg. Vielleicht ist es nicht ganz richtig ausgesprochen, denn sie kommt aus den Niederlanden. Sie hieß mal nur Rodenburg und da war sie noch Forstwirtin und dann hat sie ihren Mann kennengelernt und der ist Fischer und deswegen hat sie zur Fischerei verschlagen und zusammen mit ihm fischt sie jetzt auf eine besondere Art und Weise und ich sage herzlich willkommen und wie das geht, erzählt sie uns jetzt. Danke. Uh, ich bin ein bisschen mehr bequem. I feel a bit more comfortable with English. I hope that's no problem for you. Um, as said, I'm a fisherman from the Dutch Wadensee. And I think it's important to realize that we all eat. We all need food. And all food comes from this planet Earth. Um, if we mess up the planet, we will in the end just eat our own rubbish. All, everything that happens on the land ends up in the sea. Through little channels, little waterways, things flow into rivers and end up at the coast. I'm a coastal fisherman from the Dutch Wadensee. And so we depend on what the river brings us. So we depend on what people do on the land. Fish is our last great wild food. And we think the fish belongs to all of us. It's a shared responsibility to take care of the land, the waters and the sea. And it should be a shared pleasure to have good seafood harvested from a healthy sea. So as fish is, and the sea, and seafood, which also means algae, which also means seaweeds, is a common source of wealth, um, it's, for us, it's, becoming more and more weird that people like Nature Conservancy organizations and also on behalf of sustainability and environmental protection sometimes, people want to kick out the ones that traditionally harvest from our coast. As a coastal fisherman, we have small boats, we have small gears, we use a lot of handwork and we are close to our harbors. These are the areas that more and more are used for um, cities, for windmills, for ports, for any type of expanded land use. And what's left should be a nature conservancy area. And like our Wadensee, it's even a World Heritage Site. Of course, it's a World Heritage Site. It's a wonderful place. It's one of the most beautiful places on our planet, I think. Only we are part of that heritage. We believe that the way we harvest seafood actually connects the people from the land with our coasts. And, of course, we can have sustainable seafood from further away, harvested by big boats, fully controlled. And it's, I think, not so weird that big organizations like WWF sometimes seem to prefer big boats going far out to harvest in a very well-controlled manner instead of having a lot of small-scale fishermen at the coasts. But what we lose when we harvest our seafood in that way is the connection. And it's the connection. Uh, as a fisherman, it's our responsibility to connect the people from the land back with the sea, 
to bring the seafood from the sea back on your plates, to enjoy it, and also share with you the message like this is valuable. We should take care of it, and we should take care of it as fishermen on the sea, but you all have a responsibility here. Because we have, for instance, a lot of nitrogen in our coastal waters. Nitrogen, um, nitraten, um, well, and less an, uh, or the, the, the balance between nitrogen and, nitrogen and phosphate is far out of balance in our coastal waters. Also, the coastal waters are warming up more quickly than far out sea, and also the acidity that gets worse because of the uh, carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere. In shallow coastal waters, uh, the, the, the acidity goes up much quicker than in deeper oceans. That's why our coasts are all under threat, actually under threat of land use, and the way we as society live and use uh, fuel and plastics. We as fishermen depend on nature. So uh, with Goede Vissers we try to reconnect, we try to take care of the sea, but also take you with us in that responsibility while of course enjoying seafood. That's <laughs> Ja, yeah, thanks Barbara. Vielen Dank. Um